you need more frames per second in your games? It seems like a question that would get a unanimous yes from the gaming community. But as is evidenced by the heated discussions around the internet regarding frames per second, it's clear that experimentation is in order to settle the debate. The Arguments You can't see more than n frames per second. This statement will usually vary from 24 frames per second to 75 frames per second. I do just fine at n frames per second. This comment will typically be accompanied by relatively low frames per second like 15 or 30. This argument is anecdotal and will not be covered in this video for that reason. What method will be used? Two video clips of the same scene were recorded in the first person shooter Counter-Strike Source. One clip was recorded at 30 frames per second while the other clip was recorded at 15 frames per second. Comparing these two identical clips, whose only difference is the frame rate at which they were recorded, will demonstrate the need for more frames per second in a video game. This clip was recorded at 15 frames per second. This is the identical clip recorded at 30 frames per second. In the second clip, you may have seen something that you didn't see in the first clip. The clips are going to be played again, and this time slowed down significantly to show the animations frame by frame. In the slowed down version of the 30 frames per second clip, everyone should have seen this additional frame that was not in the 15 frames per second clip. Is more frames per second important? Yes. The more information you have, the better advantage you have. Lower frames per second may result in missed frames that include important information that can make or break your gameplay.